Hello and welcome back to Transport Fever 2. We're at Risborough and waiting for the express we were riding in the previous episode at the end to uh, come up the hill there. And as I was <laughs> as I was waiting to do the intro, I heard a certain industry upgrade. So uh, yes, that upgraded. Given that we're going to uh, not wait for the express and see what's going on here. It uh, it's now going to be producing 300. Is that suppliers? Oh wow! There you go. Our fish farm that is uh, full of chickens. Well pointed out, by the way. Yes, it does sound like uh, it's full of chickens, but it's 600. So when our when our fish train gets up here, we need to duplicate it because we know it was doing. I think it's still doing 300. Let's just take a look. It is indeed doing 300. Well, 308. But we can double that, can't we? Here comes our our short express as it is at the moment, which is fine. There were some people on, wasn't there? Yeah, we got 39 on already. We've got two of them running at the moment. Uh, eventually, we'll no doubt have more than that. Today, I'd like to extend some of our commuter lines and uh, maybe head to a new city as well and get that set up. So, a bit about the passengers today. Where's our fish train? Here it is. And uh, I had a suggestion. If we get the old... Uh, the old paint here. Now I was going to make it white, but it's a bit uh, a bit glowy, <laughs> so instead we're going to go with uh, a grey, which still looks white, but it doesn't burn your eyeballs out. So there we go. Yeah, and that will mean they're refrigerated cars. Thank you in the comments for that, by the way. There's a few of you that suggested I paint them white. Now, I am going to official episode right here because uh, that little lump of stone upset me. Upset me is a bit strong, but it, it didn't look great. I saw one here as well when we we're doing the cab ride. There we go, a little tidier. I did do some weeding, guys. There's a stray piece there, but it's uh, looking a little bit uh, better. So the odd... The odd strand of grass here and there. Is that what you call it? No, blade. Blade of grass. Strand of grass? Not really. But uh, yeah, there we go. We get to uh, double up on our food line here. This doesn't make as much money. Uh, I take it back. Ignore me. Ignore me. It didn't to start with, obviously, until it picked up uh, speed. Now... Now it's making us a decent profit and we can double up on this train, which means uh, once they've settled down, I don't know why I'm trying to follow it with my mouse. We could just do this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But once they've uh, settled in and settled down and uh, they're both picking up each other's produce, I guess, uh, manufactured goods, then uh, processed meat, wouldn't it? Oh, this isn't processed? Yes, processed meat. It says processing plant, so I'll I'll take it. Do we like these? I love these little uh, locos. Absolutely great. They're tiny compared to our giant refrigerated cars here, which they are now because they're white. That's what makes them refrigerated. Well, it does help with the heat, doesn't it? It reflects the sun. Right, now you're heading off. Let's uh, just straight up duplicate you, which we should be able to do. And you should have a friend appearing out of our chicken farm. Chicken fish farm. Uh, it's the default sound for all farms. I'm going to assume that our... Where's the other one? Yeah. Yes, our coffee farm also has chickens everybody has chickens but anyway back down here we're going to crawl out the depot you are limited in the depot it's 13 miles an hour which is interesting because the default game only has two track speeds and yet they 
implement their own track speed in the depot. I guess it doesn't really work having uh, multiple track speeds the way the game works, the game logic, so it's, it's understandable. There we go, we're picking up even more fish off our platform and that should do us, shouldn't it? I don't know why you're upgrading. You, are you going to go to 1200? Because that will be ridiculous. We'll have to see how much money we make on this. Uh, oh, guys. At the beginning of the previous episode, I said I was going to check on the tall line heading into Twickenham. Never did. And, uh, oh dear. Yeah, it's, uh, we needed to. What is going on here? Consumers. 328. You got to be joking that is a lot yeah we're only doing 297 okay another couple of trucks then now we do have a lot of trucks on here <laughs> quite a lot our other original trucks wouldn't have managed to do this at all but i believe we're getting close to another upgrade in the truck department so eventually we get to uh, filter these down again as we approach maximum throughput and it won't it won't look so bad because we can take some of these trucks off especially later on when we get the uh, decent speed trucks on these country roads shall we check up on twickenham since we're here and uh oh there we go platforms are nice and empty did we struggle here a little bit Oh, yes, we're playing catch-up and there's a lot more trains coming in with more people on. Let's not uh, be hasty with this. It might be okay. Uh, especially since I'm not seeing any real issues with the bus stops down here. Let's take that off. Yeah, the uh, tram stops are, are pretty empty. Bus stops, tram stops, bit of both. No, we're we're coping with that. We've just got extra trains running at the moment and they're going to they're going to run out of passengers eventually as there we go which will mean once we've caught up which we will do after a, a couple of runs probably by the end of the episode we can start uh, taking at least one carriage off each it might be the opposite for our express we might have to start putting extra carriages on those so we'll get our expresses that will be longer and our, uh, our little short local commuters 63 on board over half full not ideal but um, it saves us having to keep tweaking them every five seconds doesn't it right what are we doing I thought about heading to Lee that would be the commuter that comes to Alsham and then continues off to Risborough. There's only a one problem I have with going to Risborough uh, from here is we sort of ca cannibalize our express, don't we, immediately. Which might give us the option to actually skip Alsham and Lee and go straight to Mitchell Dean on the express line. It's certainly an idea. I'm thinking that might be the way we go. It depends how busy it gets, right? There could be people that want to go to either. Uh, they could want to go to this local station or they might want to come here. Depends if they start building down here, which it looks like they, they've, they've made a start. If they build roads out like this, the AI towns, that does mean they're uh, preparing to build out this way. So if they start building roads out, heading up that way, then it's going to look kind of uh, kind of nice down there. Uh, so yes, we are going to do that. But getting to Lee, how are the heights for Lee? Are we heading up or down? Oh, we're heading up again. It's almost like Elsham's in a little bit of a valley, isn't it? Because isn't uh, Risborough? at around 50 something yeah Risborough is at 50 something Lee's at 50 something so we need to we need to head up don't we it looks like we can pretty much wiggle up there doesn't it and uh, are we going electrified we're definitely not heading down that would be pointless it's going to be quite a challenge to get around this 
mountain unless we have a nice little tunnel which might be a decent idea uh electrified no we're gonna stick with steam for now on passengers i'm gonna run this as the leading line you'll see the the ground is actually all over the shop there and then we can hopefully branch in something like that well that'd be nice we branch in there we go 75 75 We'll double track this straight away. No need for uh, single tracks anymore. I'm hoping to start heading up, I think. Well, is it necessary? Our express is going to go along here. It could branch differently and have this actually do a little bit of a wiggle up the hill. And then our express line branch off and just dive straight under and come up later. Not a bad idea. Um, now we're going to start heading up. Yes, let's start heading up. We've got to get up to 50 odd meters, haven't we? Um, we're only at eight at the moment. It might be a case of uh, going steeper than that. But we won't know until we've uh, laid it down. Oh, is that a main road? No, no, no. Is it or was it a main road ever? I don't think so. It's just linking a bunch of industries, isn't it? Yeah. These are all just industry roads that we're not working with. So there's no point hooking them in until we know what we're doing with them. Right then, let's continue our journey. I do kind of want to curve around here a little bit and keep heading up. We're up to 11 meters. I don't think we're going to make it, are we? So I say another notch on the grade there. I do feel like we're going to need a bit of a tunnel. We are going to try and avoid it, even though we can afford it, because I'm just trying to go for a little bit of realism. We'll keep heading up until we hit around the 50 mark. We might just hit it as we get there. Right. This makes me happy. We can dive in here and start heading towards Lee. I like that idea. Yeah, let's head towards Lee from that point. You do the inside track first. We are continuing to head up. Are we heading up quick enough? It is. It is heading up, isn't it? Yeah, we should should be out. Oh, that's too much of a tunnel, though. I don't like it. Could we go steeper in the tunnel, maybe? There we go. And then come out here. There we go. We're at 40 there we could of course have another station in a cutting i'm not sure where we're heading yet for uh for lee let that curve round it's not a bad tunnel is it acceptable we do want to kind of compete with the road yeah we do have traffic don't we running down there uh so this will be our first bit of competition guys with the ai and car owners and we will we will help them out we'll improve this road as well because i'm not going to cheese it and force them to drive along these rubbishy roads no look at them all first we'll upgrade their roads for them and then we'll uh and then we'll widen them and we'll make motorways and stuff i definitely feel like motorways are a way to go right it looks like this end of town is where all the uh, industry and commerce is. Let's get that up. It is. Look, there we go. Well, the industry is that side. We can head in here. I like the idea of being in the commerce district for our train station. Wherever our train station's going. Uh, tram. Tram straight down here. So that we can widen that road for them as well. It looks like their main road out of town as well. So... How do we how do we deal with that? Do we want to be in a bit of a cutting then? Uh, like we did at Risborough. Because we head back down again, don't we? To get to Mitchell Dean here. Quite a way, I believe. Yeah, 14 meters down. And what are we at at the moment? If we straighten up here, what are we looking at? Because then we can have a bit of a bridge going on, can't we? 45. 
Oh, do you know, I sort of like it. We want to do the inside track first, though. Right, okay. So we're going to head there. We're not going to go up any further. We're going to have a little bit of a, a cutting going on. It's not too bad, is it? It's pleasant. Now then, where are we going to have this station? We're going to have to pause this because we are going to break their connection. I guess having it out here would be nice. We can first upgrade their roads, can't we? And we're going to get them with electrics on. Uh, oh, am I using the right one there? Yeah, they all look the same. Well, they don't. If we go to that. Well, they do, don't they? There's not much different. You've got to look for the trees. That's what it is. That's the difference. And it's a bit wider. But uh, it's not very clear, is it? No. Right, no wonder I keep tripping over that. Yeah, I'll blame the game and the graphics rather than uh, me not paying attention. Right then, there we go. Straight line, lovely. Oh, we might have another station at the other end there. Will that make a bridge? It kind of will. Almost, right? Almost. It'll need to be a little bit further down, wouldn't it? Let's take it back to there. We need to flatten out sooner. That's a little better. Right, get that layer off. Yeah, I think we gained a little bit more. There we go. Perfect. Oh, isn't that nice? We can have a bridge there, can't we? Awesome. We should have the height we need now. Absolutely marvellous. Let's head over to a Lee then in a cutting. And that means we can allow the town to kind of go over the top of us. Like we've got a Risborough as well. This is going to be the inside. I'm just hoping to get the main road over the top of these. I like that we're going through the trees as well. Right, if we have it there, I think that will give us access to everywhere we need. I don't know about that way. What we got? We've got Romsey over there. Uh, yeah, this will give us a, a bit of a Y, wouldn't it? We could head round that way as well. Have we got anywhere else over here? No, this will be the Bradford to Sandhurst line, which can join in just here. Okay, lovely so far, guys. Will that give us? Will that give us the the bridge we need? We're obviously going to take the curves out the road for them. They're not going to be impressed at the moment. Can we just go straight across? We want uh, a newer bridge than that. There we go. Uh, almost. Almost. We might need to dig a little bit of a, a hole for us. Well, not a hole, but uh, just flatten a, a little bit of an area either side for the feet. There we go. We'll get that down there. Need that a little bit bigger. You can go in, I think, like that. Should give it enough room, shouldn't it? put its feet down and gives it a bit more of an edge as well either side I just want to smooth under the track as well get rid of the uh, the rocks there right will that give us enough for uh, better feetage it's much better yes we could even have the arch bridge but I'm going to go with uh, the modern style it doesn't do a very good job here. I don't know why it does that. We'll continue this road up for them. Oh yeah, we can take off the, uh, the terrain alignments now. Uh, do we need to wiggle that much? I think we can give you a, a nicer curve round. We are going to follow it around like they had it. Just without too many curves in it. Right, there we go. Now, if you hook into there, right, guys, you've got your first bit of uh, proper road in that they're actually using. I mean, they've all vanished from it at the moment, but it is stage one for them, or phase one, I guess. Which means our station is going to be here. We've got to remember we need to get to Romsey as well. We could 
have uh, another station going over the top at the end. Ooh, do you know? Like a, a crossover? And then we could loop round. Right, let's go uh, two tracks. We'll just put this straight in. Do we want a... Do we want an island? No, we'll just go with this. This would be fine, wouldn't it? I think we could just start with that and then build from it as long as we leave ourselves enough room yeah I like that it's not too bad actually uh, we haven't cut too far into the ground have we we can have a little bit of a, a valley thing going on there very pleasant I like that we'll just get under the track smoothed and then we'll redo it uh, along the side I'd like the trees and stuff down the side here very nice and uh, we're gonna need a bit of a bit of a space for us to build our tram and then we'll head up and meet the main road up there there we go and we can have a bus that runs up that way as well once it gets busier and meaning we can have a, a through station I think uh, not train <laughs> although that would be cool another train station connected to it I think we're going to have a train station doing this, so it's almost like by level station. I sort of like that, otherwise we won't really have a, another need for it, will we? We're going both sides, three, and then we'll extend it as well. We'll have it much bigger than it is here. That should do, shouldn't it? And then we'll get this configure, and we'll add some more passenger space the other end so we've got two uh two shelters per stop what else do we need then we need street on the other side there we go we've got a fruit through station for lee and then we need to uh head back up and connect with the correct road we could have a, a thingy road couldn't we wouldn't be too bad yeah we'll connect up in there Although, I think to make that tidier, I would like it to start out flat for a little bit. Uh, we definitely want signals, traffic lights, <laughs> signals. Well, I mean, technically they are, aren't they? Uh, yeah, there we go. And do I like that? I do. What else can we do? Oh, yes. And we should lock this, which is why I was thinking about this being a a country road down here but i've i've had a thought guys if we went out there could we have like a little little area here that we own that they could build on i don't know whether they will but it'd be kind of cool if they did now this has got to go that way yeah can we get in there that would be brilliant if we could i don't know what we're doing with this or why it exists that's great the big molehill in the middle get that down and that around the side so you build around the side i want uh, it to be a little more varied around this area there we go get that smoothed down i'm hoping they build some like houses around here and then they're heading that way which means what we can do is get our tools here and we'll actually pay for this privilege. Now, where's that, that, that one there? Yeah, we'll pay for these roads. That means they won't build onto them and make a real meal of it. Uh, perfect. After the bridge then, let's uh, give some filter lanes, shall we? For anybody who might live down there. Meaning we need that one. And we'll get our upgradey tool. Keep on that. There we go. There, that's pleasant. It's like filter lanes. Do they actually use them like that? Mm, sort of. <laughs> A little bit. It's more for looks. But they, they will stay out of this middle lane if they're going ahead. Well, no, they won't, will they? They'll do that. Oh. Ooh. Well, that would kind of be nice, but our bridge doesn't, our bridge doesn't fit. Well, we could have it a little longer and just uh, narrow down for the bridge. 
it's kind of tidied up the connection, hasn't it, there? So maybe. There we go. That's pleasant. I like that. Do we like that, guys? We might redo that bridge and have it two lanes like that. Because that looks really cool. Yeah, it's almost like a, a real area, isn't it? All right, let's get that smoothed out. And now we need to uh, electrify because I forgot. Uh, let's get you electric down here. Up to the station there. And you're electric that way. You're going to be electric. Well, I don't know whether you're going to be electric that way, actually. Uh, which is a little unfortunate. Although we could have our depot down here. Maybe uh, get it so that it's under the second station going across the top. That'd be kind of cool. I like this. Yeah, especially if they build houses here. We could always paint it so it's not so obvious. Or we can leave it like that. As long as there's enough room for them to build at the bottom and at the top, that's the plan. And then we'll, we'll head this back up that way. Okay, well it's a start, isn't it? We've actually got the station in. And for now, I guess we're going to be heading back. Oh, I've made the station electric. Good job it's not difficult to change. Should we put a, a crossing in? We will be coming in this way, won't we? So we want to head out that way. And I mean, it doesn't have to be 75, but since you're letting me, why not? That means we'll have a signal just here. Put these one way. There we go. And I think we'll just leave it like that for no, no, that's too much. We'll have the we'll have a couple of signals either side of this tunnel. There we go. I think other than that we're good, aren't we? Yeah. And we've got to head up this way as well, which is gonna be interesting because we have this line here. And I'm gonna to have to delete this. Yeah, you're not going to be happy with me. Because this one is going to be the main track. This needs to be electrified from this point. We're going to follow this round like that. We've got this side coming in. Uh, oh, that's, that's painful. Don't do it like that. Do that gentle. We're going to have lots of crossovers and stuff. We need you to come from here. Yeah, that's better. And then can you head in up there? That's tidier, isn't it? It was a little bit painful before. Now this line is the one that branches off that way. Um, but we need to get across from here anyway and get across to the freight line up there. So we're going to do that early and just get it straight across at 75 and then we're going to go across again and another 75 hopefully and that gives us a direct line into there and that that should be spot on now shouldn't it yeah if we put a one-way signal there and we take a look beautiful uh we're crossing over the commuter line which is heading that way so let's think about some signaling there. Um, we branch back off there up the, the single track. Where's, where's our commuter coming from? From here, right? That's going to need a signal. We'll put it a further away from the station. Somewhere like that. Because currently they're not going to turn around. Let's remove electrification from there so we just got the electrification heading off that way and we'll need that signal there yes oh, we shouldn't need another one until i guess at the end of this the station here let's get you in at the end there yeah that's pleasant isn't it there we go one signal there one signal there uh, we've got signal here. This is going to need some serious signal work done on it. And this is going to be our first piece of proper quad track main line. Hopefully you don't mess up over this crossing. You do not. Isn't that beautiful? 
since we're branching in here, we'll do this as the main section and then we'll branch in accordingly. There we go at 75, beautiful. As long as you're not making a meal of the junction there. Uh, we've got to then head off, which is a bit awkward, but doable. Yeah, there's no other way around that. As long as we can get around there at 75 at the very least, uh, for now anyway. I don't know whether we can manage it at 75. It's a bit tight, isn't it, to get down there. Could we, like, head off like that? And I, I'm hoping we can. If we, um, if we have a track here and there. Is this a good idea? I don't know. We'll see. Not a crossing, but <laughs> we're doing it with the crossing there. We'll see how it does. And can you just go off there? Oh, really? Surely you can do that. I mean, if you can't, it's, it's okay. I was hoping you could, though. Well, this one can start heading over. There is the plan. I just want this to dive under the uh, the freight line there. I don't know whether we're going to have enough clearance. But in order to do that, we need the, the second line in here somehow. We could have a, a stippity steppity hop thing going on like that. There we go. There we go. That makes uh, it cleaner with the catenary anyway. And then we're heading this way and down. I'm just hoping we've got enough clearance to go underneath here. Is that going to be enough? We might have gone a little bit aggressive there. Um, I don't know. Maybe. We'll see how it looks. Because we do need to be in a cutting because we're heading down to Risborough. And I would like some sort of train scenery going on. We're almost there, aren't we? Yeah, that's a little bit too close head down a little bit more and we should be fine I don't know why I went for something so convoluted really oh no we ain't got enough room there have we well I'm not giving up yet guys there may be some editing oh it's that slope look we don't come far enough away from the track yeah we need to uh, start heading away from the track there so bring this back, it will make our lives easier. In fact, take that off. We don't have to go in there at all, do we? This is okay, we can paint that bit. I like that. But this needs to this needs to head around and down. Surely that's enough. Will you branch out better from there? Okay. I think we've got it, guys. Yeah, if we we go straight there will you do it yeah let's tidy that ground up underneath so we have nice feet and we can do a bit of painting on there since we know this bit is flat we want to have this edge going there there we go I don't know why you're doing ridiculous uh, slopes on the rail I've got a mod installed that I might need to check what the settings are for it because it's making it slope all the way down up there, which is just ridiculous. We don't need it sloping like that, yeah. Which I don't like I don't like the look of. So I'll play with the mod and get the settings right, and then if it's the mod settings wrong, I can I can tell you all about it and how to fix it and have it looking much better than what we've got it at the moment. Okay, better. Get in there, guys. I'll take that, I think. Yeah. We can budge the feet along. There's a little trick you can do to do that. But as for the rest of it, now we can redraw that track into there. It should just be a nice, gentle curve round. There we go. So we go over the top, we go underneath, and we'll just move those either side out the way. 
Hopefully they should stay there when we delete them back. Beautiful. There we go. We've got it. What height do we need to be now? Uh, because we do want to be in a cutting, don't we? 41 meters down there. 42. Guys, almost like I planned it. I mean, I did in my head. I didn't technically plan it, though. This was news to me when I started doing this. But this is a, a sunken rail. It's, in fact, a little bit like uh, the circle line on uh, in Glasgow. It's, it's kind of tempting, given the lay of the land here, isn't it? To go and have us build on top a little bit. Almost like a... A subway type thing. I sort of like it. Yeah, can we do that? We'll just go around there at 75. Can then can we can we get out of there? We might be able to get that out and we can do some terraforming just so we can see our other trains running along the side here. Yes, but we'll have this bit in case the city grows out there. It can start building like on top and I think we can have it nice and flat like that. Well, I've got carried away today, guys. And we don't need this this lump at all uh, up there for a start. It's not really connecting to anything, but uh, I would like them to build out here. Oh, it's uh, it's it's making it's making fantastic molehills. <laughs> oh dear. It's not what I was expecting. It's fine. We'll get it all smoothed out. We'll send the road over there. We'll continue it over. Um, but we'll send it out as a, a junction so we can go over again and have lots of bridges going across for them to build over. As long as we can go over again. Yes, we can. It's beautiful. Uh, do we want another stone arch to match that one? It's sort of nice, isn't it? Right, so you're going that way. Then can we have you run parallel like that? With the track a little bit. Yeah, I like that. And then we'll have our, our little country road thing heading up there. Um, which event we'll, we'll make it this. Which eventually will be their city road, I'm hoping. Oh, that wasn't pleasant. You've not got it on curvy anymore. So you're going across there, go straight over there, curve round there, and then we'll head up at the last. Oh, in fact, it's it's kind of nice, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. Get this all terraformed out. Whack that up to full. Get it all smoothed. Smoothed out like we did nothing. And take some of that edge off around there. Not all of it. Oh, it's too late. Oh, well, actually, I want to have a look at that mod don't I but then I can uh, work on it properly when we come back we're going to get a train on here but what we can do in the meantime is uh, ride this train to go over the junction to see uh, how this junction starting to look which it will look better once I've tidied this bit up I'm not happy with that at all floaty bits of ballast is not good but we can have a go on our new uh, our new freight train here, our express freight almost. Um, we do need to do a little bit of painting down here, like get uh, like some dirt and stuff and just put it on the edges down here. Which will take a bit of time. In fact, we can use that one to give it a bit more of a textured look on the sides there. And I believe it needs to be uh, a bit of official episode as well. It's a bit bumpy or a little too bumpy down there drops off too much this should be nice and flat really uh, as well, um, we dug through the the side here didn't we i just didn't flatten it out it was going down to go up again which isn't ideal there we go but yes that's what i'll do down here we'll get some of this paint just give it a bit of a an edge get the, the grass and stuff away from the track Especially since we're running electrics and stuff, right? We don't want it all catching fire. There we go. Maybe something like that at the edge of the, of the track. It, it gives it a bit more, a uh, bit more realism, doesn't it? And a bit more texture. 
Anyway, anyway. Right, guys, should we get on board? Dear, oh dear. I get carried away when I'm building these monstrosities. Uh, I, we are going to tidy this up, though. All right, guys, we're on board our food freight train. Who is, uh, is carrying a lot of fish at the moment and is paired up with another one today. Uh, that was a monstrous build, wasn't it? And we get to enjoy that build next time out because it's going to be a case of hooking up uh, Lee with a tram service and get it running people to the station and then we can run the commuter all the way up into Risborough via Aylsham, which would be lovely. I thought we'd sit on here and see how our uh, flyover's doing. I like it. I like the idea of this. It's actually, uh, there's a lot more going on than I thought. <laughs> you don't appreciate it until you sit in the actual cab itself. But anyway, guys, I'll leave you on board. Thank you for watching. And until next time, take care.